Hello, I'm Gordon Rich with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. The AKD firmware can be updated for each drive, allowing you to maintain the latest version. The first step in updating your firmware is to determine if you need to at this time, and to which version you want to update your firmware. In the Drive Overview screen, you can see the current firmware version by clicking More. If you have determined that you want to update the firmware, back up your parameters before doing so. Click on the Parameter Load Save icon in Workbench, then save the file. Create a name for this parameter file. Next, find the part number of the drive. This is located on the side of the drive or in Workbench in the Drive Overview screen. The firmware will need to match your drive as the features and certain parameters will differ from drive to drive. For our example, we will be using an AKD-P00306-NBC8 nbcn 0 The latest and greatest firmware version can be found on our website at colemorgan.com. Follow the website to the location for AKD servo drives. Under firmware, we find the correct version, AKD-P-NBCN-01-16-00-0. Once the zip file has been loaded down to your hard drive, extract the firmware. It is recommended to create a folder for your firmware versions. In the Drive Overview screen, click on More to show the current version of firmware, then click Update. Find the location of the firmware to which you want to upgrade, then click Open. The drive will sequence through several steps as the firmware is being upgraded. It will take approximately four minutes for the upgrade to be completed. Do not shut off power or disconnect the communications during this process. As you can see, upgrading to the latest version of firmware is fairly straightforward. It is important to not interrupt the process once it begins, as this can result in a failure called F and 3 bars. This might require the drive to be returned to Cole Morgan for repair. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Please look for our next video.